when you die cut and occasionally you pass this through your machine, you may find that some areas of the die cut and other areas don't. This is when we talk about using a shim. So a shim can be a number of different things. It can be a piece of cardstock. It could be a thin magnetic sheet. What happens is, first of all, when you've been working with this and this has gone through your machine, because there isn't quite enough pressure on the die, it hasn't cut all the way through. So we have a number of different options. You can take a magnetic sheet and you can place that underneath the die and then repeat the process. That fraction of a millimeter can sometimes be all it needs to not only make it cut perfectly, but also it enables and stops the die moving around. The other thing is you could take a number of sheets of cardstock and place those on top of the design and that then increases the pressure because of the thickness that's going through your machine. Some people prefer to put their shim on top of their cutting plate. Again, it has the same action, repeating and increasing the pressure. The other thing that I just want to share to you, which is really important, is if there is just one area of your die that's not cutting, instead of putting a piece of cardstock over the whole die, what we do is patch shim. So tear a piece of card that just fits the area that hasn't cut and then repeat the process. And that means that you're only applying extra pressure in the area that hasn't cut. The rest of the die should cut as normal. Just a few little top tips on working with shims.